Would you like to know how to hide pins in WordPress without a plugin for free? Well, that's what today's video is all about. I'm gonna be talking about some HTML code that you can put on your blog to optimize it for Pinterest. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it right here inside my post. So my name is Jen Tokenyuk, I'm your digital CEO. And today we are looking at the blog post that I'm writing about this topic right now. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head down here and I'm going to upload a pin to hide. So um, it doesn't really matter where I'm gonna put it because I'm gonna hide it anyway. So let's just do it here. So I'm in the Gutenberg editor. I'm going to add an image block. And then I already uploaded this pin. So if I hadn't, I'd click upload, which I'll do on the next one. But since this one's in the media library, let's go there. So here's this. And we have our alternate text here, which is great. I'll show you why in a second. And now we have this massively big pin. <laughs> um, I always like to center my pins. I think it just looks better. And you do that right there. And then I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna hit 50% don't do the image size it doesn't work the same way but at 50 percent this gives it you know it's big enough but it's not overwhelming on your page now alternate text a lot of people think that this is where to put your pins description to make it show up on pinterest but that doesn't happen uh, the only thing that alternate text works for is to tell google what this image is about so if you've ever typed in something into Google and then you notice in the image search that pin images are showing up there, it's because they've put this alternate text in there to tell Google that that image matches the query. So don't forget to do this because this can help your pins show up for image search and get your blog more traffic. So now we've got our, our alternate text, we've got our pin, we've made it look pretty. And now we're going to click these three little buttons over here and edit. This is HTML. Okay. So to hide a pin, you're going to use this code that I've given you up here, <laughs> but I'm going to type it in for you. So div style to learn that I can't type equals display none. Okay. And then make sure we get that little guy on there. Oops, and I can't type. Okay, display none. All right, and then at the end, even though there's already an end div, you have to add another one. So there'll be two of them and that's totally okay. All right, so now click outside the block and it's gonna give you these two little buttons. Don't hit resolve. Resolve will mess up the code. You actually wanna convert this to HTML. So click convert to HTML. You have to click it twice. And now when we go to preview, we have an empty box, which is great. That means that no one that comes to your blog will be able to see this pin, okay? So here's the rub with this. It's like, okay, great, we've just hidden a pin, so how the heck is anybody supposed to find it to pin it? <laughs> so this is where social sharing plugins come from. And I'm going to preview this post to be able to show you how this works. So let's go to the post preview because I haven't published that post yet or I would go to the published version. And in the preview, it's actually gonna show my social sharing buttons and they will be on the left-hand side. So my favorite plugin for social sharing, there's tons of them out there, but I really like add to any share. Um, add to any share will give you, um, you know, the sharing buttons down at the bottom. You can put them at the top, you know, like people are accustomed to, but it has these floating buttons on the left-hand side that follow you as you're on the page. So this way your reader never has to scroll back up to the top or all the way to the bottom to share. They can share exactly in the moment when they're like, oh my gosh, I want to pin this for later. They, they can never forget because those buttons are always there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you, now remember this is where we hid that pin and we can see that it's not there. But if you click the Pinterest button, there it is. So this is how people find these hidden pins. If you don't have some sort of social sharing plugin put into your WordPress blog, 
there's no way for people to find it unless they have installed like the Pinterest Chrome extension. But you're gonna find that the only people who've like really installed the Pinterest Chrome extension <laughs> are other bloggers and other people that are on Pinterest all the time, not our casual blog traffic who, you know, tends to be our best customers rather than other bloggers. Now you're gonna notice inside here that there's all sorts of things that you can pin when you click that button. Now there's stuff that I don't want pinned. Uh, I really don't want this image pinned on Pinterest. The only thing I want pinned on Pinterest are my long images in the two by three ratio that have a description and, and that are coded properly for Pinterest. Now the Gravatar image, I'm not gonna lie, it's like really hard to figure out how to disable that. So if people really wanna pin that, that's fine. And if they wanna pin my blog images, I mean, I guess that's up to them but I don't want stuff like this to be pinned. So I'm gonna go back to my post and I'm gonna show you how to disable this image right here, this select text in the classic editor from being pinned. So let's go back to my post and I'm gonna go down here and find that. Might've been at the top, sorry. Is that the one that I wanted or is that the one that I wanted? Well, let's do this one. Okay, so what we're gonna do is very similar. We're gonna click on this. We're going to click these buttons right here. Now, if I wanted, again, somebody to pin this for some reason, or to be able to search this on Google for some reason, um, I might type in how to uh, hide a pin, how to hide pins. I'll keep this to my keywords here. How to hide pins on WordPress without a plugin. All right, so this will allow it to still be searched on Google. Okay, and now I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go to edit as HTML. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add in a little piece of code right here after the image that says data pin no pin equals quotes true space okay so again we click outside we convert to html sometimes it makes you hit it twice sometimes it doesn't uh, but now when we go to preview we still see this now remember select text in the classic editor Okay, so now I'm gonna click on this. Oops, maybe I have to refresh it. Let's refresh my preview. And now it's still there. Why is it still there? See, this is why I always check these things. All right, so let's go back here. Data pin, no pin equals true. is really strange. Data pin, no pin equals true. Let me generate a new preview on this. Isn't this fun? <laughs> Yay for code. I bet you that's what it was. But let me make sure. Okay, now it's gone. I needed a new preview. <laughs> okay, perfect. So you would do the same steps for this, um, for any ad banners that you have on your site. Uh, it's, it's the same steps. So um, I use a plugin called Ad Inserter to put in all of the ads in the middle of my text. So I would go there and I would add that same um, code to that so that it can't be pinned as well. Now, the last thing that I wanted to show you because we talked about it was adding a description to your pin. So I'm gonna add one more pin on this page. Uh, there's a pin down here that I'm going to add all the way at the bottom where I said I was gonna add one. Okay, great. So this one I'm actually gonna upload. So let's upload this directly from here. It's this pin that I wanted to add. 
Okay. And then I also always do name my pins. I don't name it just like image one or something like that. You want everything that's attached to your images. If you want them to be searchable to have your keywords in them. So that's already done. Okay. Now again, we have this huge pin. So we want to center it. Okay. And then I want to add alternate text to it. So Pinterest HTML code cheat sheet to hide a pin in to hide pins in WordPress. Let's try that one. Cool beans. Okay. I've 50%, okay, 50%, alt text, and then hit the button, edit as HTML, okay? Now we want this one to show up, so don't add the, the no pin or any of those other code. But now what we're gonna do is we're going to add a description. So again, just like we had the data, pin, no pin, the code for this is data, pin, description, equals quotes, and then, I created a pin description over here. I keep all of these in my notepad. That way, if I want to create um, new pins quickly for the same content, I don't have to go searching for all of this code. So it wants me to convert it now because I clicked out of there, but we're gonna do data pin description, okay, equals quotes, put in your description, end quote, space, okay? So now when someone pins this, it's going, the description that goes to Pinterest is gonna say, wanna know how to hide Pinterest images in your blog post without a WordPress plugin, and then it has my hashtags and everything else, okay? So now again, we're gonna click out of here. Well, I already converted it, so this should be fine. If we go to preview, now here we go. And don't stress that it looks like it's centered left now. It's not, it's still centered. It's just, that's the way it shows up in preview. So now again, if we save this and then I'm going to generate a new preview. And now we'll see that I'll have another pin that's available. But let me show you what it looks like all the way down at the bottom. My new pin. There's my new pin. It's all the way down here. And uh, this is what that, this is a, actually a pin it button that I installed. I have another post on that. It's one of these. I think it's that one. Um, <laughs> but you can click around through my other posts. Uh, so anyway, when we click on this, now we have this pin. Now we have this pin. That other image that we hid is still gone. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to hide that one as well as that ad code. So um, I did give you guys this pin, which has all of the different um, HTML right there. It's a nice little cheat sheet that you can pin to look at later. Also, you know, you can definitely see it all up here. I, I laid out all the codes so that you wouldn't have to go searching for it every time. But what I'll tell you is that within a, a couple times of doing it, you'll remember. And you know, that way you'll make sure that everything is optimized. Um, I did talk about if you're, if you're still uncomfortable with code, or if you want to be able to hide more images and have more control, you can pay for a plugin to do this. And if you're a recipe blogger or, or certain other bloggers that really need more, a better plugin, you know, for, for Pinterest, Tasty Pins works really, really well. It's just, I kind of geek out on code and that's why I don't personally use it, but I can see where I might want to at some point. So um, that being said, I, I totally geek out on code. So uh, if you're like me and you want to know how to make your blog run faster, how to be able to share on Pinterest easier, how to optimize your blog without having to pay for a bunch of stuff, make sure that you hit the subscribe button below and then you can go and uh, download this post. Uh, you can pin it. Uh, the link to this post, once I hit publish, will be down in the comments. So. Thanks for joining me today and I will see you on the next video.